Thank you for choosing GrowStar Premium Pen Testers. GrowStar pens are designed specifically for growers with a lab-grade standard by Apira Instruments, who has been dedicated to providing premium quality scientific instruments and sensors since 1991. GrowStar's intelligent design reduces the guesswork so you can easily manage your crop's success. How to calibrate pH Power on the pen and remove the probe cap. Always calibrate pH 7 first. Rinse the probe with clean water and shake off excess water. Then submerge it in the pH 7 standard buffer. Shake the probe vertically in the solution for a few seconds and let it stand. Hold Cal button until screen turns green. The pen starts automatic calibration. Wait for good to show up in 10 to 15 seconds, indicating the calibration is complete. Then the pen will return to measurement mode. Icon M will show up on the lower left corner of the screen, indicating the pen is successfully calibrated. Repeat to calibrate pH 4 using pH 4 buffer, then L will show up next to M. If you are testing very alkaline solutions, greater than 8.0 pH, you can continue to calibrate pH 10 by repeating the previous steps using pH 10 buffer, which is sold separately, then H will show up to the right of M. Icons will disappear in 30 days after calibration, reminding you to recalibrate the tester. We recommend calibrating pH at least once a month to ensure accuracy. These bottles of pH buffers are good for up to 10 times of pH calibration. Afterwards, replace with new ones. Always perform at least a two-point pH calibration to ensure accuracy. Start with pH 7, followed by pH 4 immediately. If you happen to turn off the pen before calibrating pH 4, you need to start with pH 7 again after rebooting the pen. How to calibrate EC Power on and remove the probe cap. Make sure that you are in EC measurement mode. Rinse the probe with clean water and shake dry. Then submerge it in the 2.77 EC standard solution. Shake the probe vertically in the solution for a few seconds and let it stand. Hold Cal until screen turns green. The pen starts automatic calibration. Wait for Good to show up in 10 to 15 seconds, indicating the calibration is completed. Then the pen returns to measurement mode. M icon will show up on the lower left corner, indicating the tester is successfully calibrated. It will disappear in 30 days after calibration reminding you to recalibrate EC. This bottle of 2.77 EC standard solution is good for up to five times of EC calibration. Afterwards, replace with a new one. How to test solutions. Rinse the probe with clean water and shake off excess water. Fully submerge the probe into the solution at least one inch deep. Make a quick stir in the solution. Hold the pen and wait for the reading to stabilize before taking the reading. Thoroughly rinse off the probe with clean water, then close the probe cap. If necessary, you can manually hold the reading by short pressing hold. Press it again to cancel the hold. Short press unit to switch from pH, EC, 500 ppm, 700 ppm. Pure water pH test. To test pH of pure water like tap water, RO water, or distilled water, the stabilization will take longer than usual. To speed up the stabilization, Soak your probe in the 3M KCL soaking solution for 15 minutes before testing. 
If the improvement is not obvious, add the 3M KCL to pure water at the ratio of 1 to 1000 before testing and stir well. It will significantly speed up the stabilization process while minimizing the pH change. Less than 0.1 pH. How to clean your probe. A clean probe is critical to measurement accuracy. Always thoroughly rinse off the probe before and after each measurement with clean water. For tough contaminants, remove the sensor shield Soak the probe in a Paris cleaning solution or detergent water for 30 minutes. Then use a soft brush to remove the contaminants. Afterwards, soak the probe in 3M KCL soaking solution for one hour. Rinse it off, then recalibrate the tester before using again. How to store your probe under regular usage, daily or weekly use, just make sure the probe cap is wet. For long-term storage, add 3M KCL soaking solution to the fill line and store the probe in it and tightly close the cap with the O-ring. If you find white crystals inside or outside the probe cap, it is perfectly normal. It is the 3M KCL soaking solution that crystallizes over time by its nature. Just rinse them off and you are good to go. This chemical is not poisonous nor dangerous and the probe's performance will not be affected at all. How to replace your probe? Screw off the probe ring. Unplug the old probe. Plug in the new probe. Make sure to align the connector's position properly and screw on the probe ring.